I'm just flying right out of fields. I'm just freaking flying, man. This is like the coolest thing I've ever seen. I'm doing this. Well, that didn't exactly work out, did it? That was just being a bit silly and all. I do want to talk to you guys about this thing called paramotoring. I've always kind of been aware of it. I didn't know it was called paramotoring or powered parachutes or uh, what else? Like powered paragliding. I don't know. I think the, the, the term that they want to call those paramotoring. I think that's like the technically correct term. I don't know. Anyway, I've always seen guys flying these things around. Actually, the lake just right over here behind me, it's always been people that fly around over there. But I've never really gave it a much thought. I just kind of assumed it was a rich man's sport. You must have had some kind of licensing you had to take off from an airport. I actually used to think those guys um, used to uh, jump out of an airplane with the thing on their back. I didn't know. I really didn't know much about it. I was thinking, well, oh, that looks cool. Uh, until a few months ago, a guy by the name of Woody's Gamers Tag, uh, this guy I used to follow way back in the day, he's a Call of Duty gamer guy, and I used to kind of be into that, so I used to follow a lot of those guys. Uh, but that sort of fell out of it, and then I've been into motorcycles, and been doing that on YouTube for years now. Then he got into motorcycles on YouTube, then he joined a random live stream we were doing, then I restarted following the guy, um, you know, and I, he, in the time gap that I wasn't following, I apparently got into this thing called paramotor. And, and suddenly I'm watching the dude literally take off on this personal flying contraption from his front yard. Come to look into it, you don't jump out of an airplane. You don't have to go to an airport. I guess you can go to certain kinds of airports to take off of these things. Uh, obviously not like a big international one or anything like that, but I think like little private uncontrolled airports or something, right? I'm not really 100% sure on all that yet. A lot of people just take off from fields, parks, wherever, and you don't need licensing. You technically don't even need training, uh, which would be stupid though, but uh, you could just go buy one of these things, and according to, I think it's what, the FAA 103 rules or whatever? I've been trying to kind of read on those, understand them a little bit better, but it has to do with flying these kind of things around and what's legal and what isn't. I mean, there's obviously rules. You can't just go fly them anywhere you want. So I get looking into it, and I got, I, I'm sitting there watching all these YouTube videos of people doing this. I got to do it with Dan to start watching these videos, and when he came to Texas just a little while back, we both sat down the first time he was here and we were like, dude, we want to do this. So we were already been both researching it quite a bit. And uh, we made the decision right then though that we wanted to, one way or another, figure out how to make this work. Uh, one of the companies we came across really fast was Blackhawk. And, and for me as a complete noob, I love the fact that they've got things like these literal complete packages. You know, they include everything you need. Uh, because when I would sit there and look at other companies and other products, I didn't see a lot of people selling everything in one and the ones that did just sort of lack a bit of professionalism. I mean, I'm coming from the world of motorcycles and you got Yamahas and there's a Honda back there, Suzuki. Some of these smaller businesses conduct themselves with 
really shady, man. There's this one guy I saw he pretty much saying if you didn't buy his machine, you were gonna kill yourself. If you don't buy a flat top, you're a freaking moron because I guarantee you, you will die. Can you imagine like Honda coming out and being like, you buy a Suzuki, you're gonna die. Like, that would just be bizarre. Very weird way to conduct business. Kind of, there's a lot of shadiness out there, but not to be worried because, you know, Blackhawk came pretty well recommended when you do a little bit of looking around. I think they outsell everybody by quite a bit. They've got these really cool packages, like I said, where you can buy a paramotor with everything you need. They'll tell you what you need. They're really cool about that. They're not just gonna try to sell you on the most high dollar stuff. In fact, they would tell you, you need to use this equipment. There's, you know, like a, a bigger motor and all this stuff isn't what you really need. Motors are weird too. Motors don't actually make you go faster. They just make you elevate quicker. It's, you know, I'll, whatever, I'm getting ahead of myself. Anyway, the point is, they're really good about kind of telling you what you want and they've got training facilities. It's just kind of a good two for one, like, when you, I'm a complete noob with something like this and it's a machine that flies in the sky, I want to get into it, you know? I don't want to kill myself. I don't want to do anything stupid. So someone who can take me by the hand and say, this equipment, this is your training, this is what you do. To me, that's awesome. I love that. So we contacted Blackhawk, me and Dan, and we worked out a deal to go up there and train and learn how to fly these things and we're gonna both get one we're getting one man this is kind of video one introduction of something i'm new i'm gonna be doing on the channel from time to time i'm gonna be freaking flying dude me and dan are gonna be pilots i'm gonna start a whole playlist just of this stuff right here so if you want to follow this particular journey and see me go from a noob so right now i really am a noob i've watched videos on youtube i can't believe that stupid little thing i built as a joke actually was kind of at times it was kind of catching air i was like that is just a complete coincidence. For the most part, it completely felt though, as it was supposed to for comedics of the video. We're gonna go out there, and I'm gonna document everything, and that's what we've talked to them that we wanna do, and they're like, hey, come on. Like I said, for years, I've seen them flying around and never thought about it even a, a bit, you know, just because I thought unaffordable, too hard to do. Now, looking into it, like, it's really not that bad. It's still small scale enough that the people who are involved in this paramotoring thing are still like enthusiasts themselves. Or realistically, is the CEO of Yamaha even a real motorcycle rider? I guess next video in this series, in this in this playlist, will be uh, us heading out to California. I'll be meeting Dan out there. It'll be pretty cool, man. I'm so excited, guys. Guys, tell me what you think in the comments, man. Are you guys excited about this like I am, dude? Just, you know, let me know and uh, 